If you sell print on demand on the Etsy platform and you're not selling mugs, you're missing out on a huge sales opportunity. In the United States especially, mugs are still a really hot gift item all throughout the year, not just during the fourth quarter. So there is a huge opportunity and hundreds if not thousands of different niches that you can get into and still make a lot of sales. And mugs are a great opportunity because they don't have some of the issues that apparel items have, like someone buying the wrong size and wanting to return or exchange it. It's a little bit simpler with mugs. I like to use Printify for my print-on-demand mugs in my Etsy shop, and today I've actually got three different styles of mugs from Printify that we can take a look at. We'll review the quality of the print, the quality of the product, and then we'll take a look at how to research niches for mug designs. So stick around and let's dive in so that you can make more sales in your Etsy shop. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start things off by reviewing three different styles of mugs that you can get through Printify, and these are all from the print provider District Photo on Printify. Now, there are a variety of other providers on Printify that provide the same types of mugs as well as some different ones, and we're gonna look at that in just a moment. I wanted to get them all from the same provider just to show you a sampling of mugs that could come from the same provider to make things a little easier for your shop. But we'll, again, we'll talk more about the other providers in just a few minutes but and the first thing we're going to look at is actually the thing that you probably won't see very often and that's the packaging so one of the things that can happen with mugs where unlike apparel where people buy maybe the wrong size or they change their mind they want to return it kind of frequently with apparel items the only thing that can happen with mugs really that's not so great is that they can arrive damaged and the packaging is one of the things that can help a mug actually arrive in good shape so I have two different packages here. One came from District Photo, and that's this one here. And one came from My Locker, and that is here. All three of the mugs that I have, including the two in the packages, they all came from District Photo. I just happen to have a box from My Locker to show you the difference between the two providers in terms of their shipping. So first, let's look at the one from District Photo, okay? This is the package that your customer will receive from District Photo. Now in our overhead shot, you can see there's actually a hole here, which I don't know if I'm a huge fan of this because something could kind of poke its way in here into this package and uh, and damage the mug. So I don't don't love this hole that's here. But in general, this is you know maybe not the prettiest package, being just a styrofoam cube, but it actually does a pretty good job protecting the mug. So let's take the lid off and let you see what it looks like on the inside. So it's actually got this little slot. Again, we'll go to the overhead here. Uh, we've got this little slot here for the mug's handle that keeps the uh, handle a little bit more protected, keeps it from moving around. That hole is only on the uh, the top, not on the bottom. There's there's no hole in the bottom for some, some reason, it's just on one side. Now, just for the sake of comparison, here is a package from my locker. And the difference is inside, it's got this plastic protection here for the mug. Set the box aside. And you can see that the mug fits right into this and there's even like a slot for the handle where inside the box this is the protection for the mug so instead of being a styrofoam that's sort of formed to it the form is on the inside uh, of the cardboard box and so that's maybe a more traditional looking package uh, but i think they both do an equally good job at protecting the mugs so just wanted to provide that comparison so that you know kind of how the customer will receive the packaging from two at least two of the providers on printify so we've got our three styles of mugs here. And in full disclosure, Printify did compensate me for these three sample mugs so that we could do this video and take a look at the different mug styles and kind of consider the business opportunity. So thank you to Printify uh, for that. And so let's start with the most basic of the mugs here, and that would be your 11 ounce white mug. So take a look at that design. I got all of these designs from Vexels, the uh, graphic service that I use to come up with a lot of the design elements for my print on demand products. And so this is kind of a funny sloth that says, not today, uh, nope, not today. And uh, it's kind of a sleeping, funny looking sloth. And uh, this is a design that works equally well on t-shirts and apparel items. Um, there is a label, get a shot of that in the overhead on the bottom. This this rectangular label can, can be a little bit difficult for the customer to remove. I actually had a couple of people mention that in their reviews that they thought it was hard to remove the label. but. Other than that, I would say, you know, good, good print quality. Um, it's fairly crisp. It's aligned the way I aligned it. 
came out nicely. It's got a nice gloss finish to it. The next option is kind of just a variation of the same theme, the 11 ounce black mug. Uh, but this is also from District Photo. Also has a nice glossy finish. Colors are pretty bright. They look pretty nice on there. And uh, this is yet another kind of funny work hard and be kind. Well, not funny, but positive message type of a design that I picked up from Vexels to apply to this sample. And just overall, I, I would say quality wise, it's on exact same level as the white mug. You know, really no surprises there. Comes out looking nice. And uh, this is a great way um, for you to offer your designs that feature lighter uh, colors on a mug. The last kind of mug we're gonna take a look at today is a stainless steel enamel camp style mug. And in the last few years, these have gotten pretty popular as gift items, especially in the United States. They're popular because they kind of are all purpose mugs. They're very sturdy, they're very solid, they don't break. And by the way, that's a really nice feature about them as far as uh, customer service issues. These ceramic guys, even with good packaging, they, they can break, right? So the customer could receive one with a the handle broken or a crack or a chip. These steel ones, they just don't break. So you're not gonna get as many customer service issues, at least not related to damage with these. And again, I think the print came out quite nicely on this. Uh, this is another graphic from Vexel. It says, life is better by the campfire. Exactly the kind of design that sells well on these style of mugs. You know, kind of an outdoorsy thing you might use around the campfire. I think all of these are great options for any Etsy seller doing print on demand. My favorite, of course, is the white ceramic 11 ounce mug. It's just a classic size. It's very popular. District Photo offers a fantastic price that's really competitive for you to offer on Etsy. But all of these are great, and I have all of these styles in my Etsy shop now. There are some other choices, so let's jump over to the Printify catalog, take a look at those choices, and then we're going to talk about pricing strategies as well as some design strategies for the types of designs that work really well on mugs. So let's dive into that now. All right, before we jump into the Printify catalog and we talk strategies and prices, just want to point out one thing about the sales opportunity here with mugs. And we're going to look at some search volumes and things like that later, but I thought it would help be helpful just to talk about what did this translate into for my shop last year. So in 2021, I sold 784 mugs. They weren't all the exact same 11 ounce white mug. There was a variety in there of different sizes and shapes, but a lot of them were that 11 ounce uh, white mug. So that was about 20% of my total sales for the year. And my mug listings make up about 19% of my total listings. So what that means is that, you know, that 19% of my listings made up equally or slightly better than their percentage of total sales. So it's absolutely worth my time in making those mug listings. And in fact, the profit margin that I'm getting on the 11 ounce white mugs is 39% when they're regular price and 34% when I put them on sale for 10% off. This is a higher profit margin than my apparel items in my shop, which average somewhere in the low 20s for profit margin so that I can keep the prices competitive. So what this means is those mug sales were actually more valuable to me than the other 80% of sales that came from my shop because the other 80% were on items that have a lower profit margin and the 20% that came from my mug sales had a higher profit margin. All right, we're in our Printify catalog and if you go to the catalog in the top menu and you go over to the home and living section, look for the mugs. And once you come to that section, you may want to filter it based on where you need to have your orders fulfilled by using the fulfillment locations filter. I've selected the United States. So we're only looking at mugs that are available from providers in the United States. A quick disclaimer also, any prices that you see here are going to be Printify Premium prices because I have a Printify Premium account. So they may differ slightly if you don't have a Printify Premium account. And as always, prices are subject to change. In the last year especially, prices have changed quite a bit on print-on-demand products. So just keep that in mind. You know, there's no guarantee that these prices won't change tomorrow. So we're gonna we're just gonna look at a couple examples to give you an idea of the sort of profit margin and the costs involved. So we're gonna to stick to some of the examples that we saw in the products that we took a look at a little bit earlier. So first we're gonna look for a plain white ounce 11 mug in the catalog here. Now we have a few different choices and the way these listings work is a little different than on the apparel listings where you've got a product and then like dozens, you know, on Printify, not dozens, but you know, like 10, 12 uh, print providers that all are offering the same product at different prices. It's a little bit different with mugs. Some of these are listed out separately by provider and there are a couple that are grouped together. For example, 
This white 11 ounce mug is from Provider Colorway and their cost right now is $4.02. But then if we scroll down, you'll see that there are other options for 11 ounce white mugs. And here is one, it says it's three print providers, but two of them are in other countries. So when I look at it, it's gonna show me district photo only because that's the one in the United States. This happens to be the supplier that I use currently uh, for my 11 ounce white mugs and their cost currently with a premium account is $3.56 and their shipping cost is $4.79. Now, if you click on more details on any uh, catalog item in the Printify catalog, you'll see the full explanation of, uh, of pricing for all sizes. And this one is only 11 ounce, so there's only one price. But then there's a shipping tab that shows you the breakdown of shipping cost based on where your order's going. And this is really good information because this is what you need to know to properly set up your shipping profile when you're figuring out how much to charge for shipping. If you do sell internationally, like if I wanted to uh, ship you know, a mug from District Photo to somebody um, in another country like Canada, I would need to know exactly what that shipping cost is so I can build that into my shipping profile. But if you plan to use a mug provider that is in Canada, like Duplium, who currently have 11 ounce and 15 ounce white mugs in the Printify catalog, uh, then you would instead want to go and look at their listing for their mugs and base your uh, pricing for Canada shipping off of their shipping cost, not District Photo. So make sure that you're paying attention to who you plan to use for those international orders if you are doing that. If you're just going to be offering your listing um, domestically to, um, to your country, then you only need to worry about the shipping cost for that country. And then basically don't include any other country in your shipping profile in Etsy. That's what controls... Uh, who sees that listing. Okay, so let's do a real quick example of calculating the profit margin and a price for this. So we have three, 356 and 479 cost. I like to use a calculator like the Allura um, Etsy fee calculator. Sales Samurai, if you use Sales Samurai for your keyword research, also has a pricing calculator built in. But because you have to have a paid account with Sales Samurai to use that, I'm going to use the Allura one because it is free. And there's a link to it in the description if you want to go check it out. No charge. You don't even have to have an account with Allura um, to use this Etsy fee calculator. And so, for example, on these mugs, uh, we have a cost of $8.35, which I put over here in the cost uh, field. And I currently sell my white 11-ounce mugs for $13.99 plus $3 in shipping. And by the way, I do charge for shipping on my mug listings in my Etsy shop, even though I do free shipping for all of my apparel items. I explained why I do that in my video about the Etsy free shipping guarantee. So if you haven't seen that video, check that out. I'll put a link in the top corner of this video right now. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to this example. So my total proceeds from the sale are going to be $16.99 because I $13.99 plus $3, right? $16.99. So we'll hit calculate here. And this is telling me that my total profit is going to be $6.58, total fees $2.06, and a profit margin of 39%. For me, this is a lot higher than what I'm getting on t-shirts, sweatshirts, and hoodies, because to competitively price those products, with the way prices have increased in the last year on apparel items, I'm lucky if I can get 22 to 25% profit margin on my apparel and still have it at a good competitive price. Um, so this is a really nice profit margin to sell an item that actually has a pretty good sales volume and, and high search volume. Um, now, even if this was on sale for 10% uh, for off, we're still gonna get a pretty good profit margin. So what that would be is, um, let's see, I think that would bring it down to 12.59 plus $3. So we'd be talking about 15.59 instead of 16.99 and my profit margin now is down to $5.31 for profit and margin at 34%. So that's still a very healthy profit margin, even if I'm putting my mug on sale for 10% off. Now, if you are to use one of the other suppliers for an 11 ounce mug, the price does vary uh, between suppliers. So just keep that in mind. And you also wanna do the same thing, go through the same process for uh, say the 15 ounce mug, if you're gonna offer that option in your shop. So like 4.57 and 7.99, the shipping cost is significantly higher. 15 ounce mugs are heavier and mugs in general are already heavy. So all suppliers are gonna charge more for a larger mug because of that extra weight. So we have to go through the same process for each type of mug and each size mug that we offer. There are also great options in Printify's catalog for things like accent coffee mugs. So if you wanna add a little pop of color, you can do that. You can even offer these in the same listing. If you follow the methodology that I showed in another video that I have where 
um, I walk through how to create a combination listing using Printify products that you create in your Etsy shop. It involves matching up SKU numbers from a draft listing that you create here, and then adding those as product variants into your Etsy listing. Your orders will still sync, and you can include things like a basic white mug and then different accent mug colors in one listing instead of having to list them separate. So again, I'll put a link to that video in the description and up in the corner right now in case you want to check out my process on how I create those combination listings using Printify. All you have to do with these things is use a calculator tool like the Allura calculator or the one available in Sales Samurai and figure out what your price margin is and then just take a look at some competition on Etsy. And that's a good segue to check out some competition on Etsy and see what types of designs you can use on mugs because I also want to show you a little bit about how easy it is to come up with designs for mugs. So first and foremost, let me just back up all the comments I've made about how many searches there are on Etsy for mugs. Uh, we're in Sales Samurai. This is the keyword research tool that I use. If you're interested in it, I have video on, on this as well. So check out my video on how I use Sales Samurai to identify lower competition niches for designs. But if you just run a search on a really, you know, not long tail uh, word like mugs, you're going to come back with you know, a lot of listings, 50,000 competition, but also 26,000 searches per month. So there are a lot of searches happening every month on Etsy for, for mugs. And then this is just to illustrate how many uh, thousands of searches are happening on Etsy every month that include the word mug. So if you look at the suggested keyword terms here, you're gonna see thousands, over 20,000 for the different variations and misspellings of the word mug. But then you'll start to see you know, things emerge here. Here's a category, uh, a more specific category of mugs, a more specific niche called affirmation mugs. And so that's things like positivity sayings. People are searching for that on Etsy over a thousand times a month. And there's an awful lot of different types of, of mugs or different design styles for mugs that people search for at high volumes every month. Not all of them are high competition. And a tool like Sales Samurai can help you identify which ones you want to create designs for. So now let me just talk a little bit about creating designs for mugs. One of the reasons I love mugs, as in addition to all the ones I've already stated, is that you probably already have designs. If you've been making designs for t-shirts, sweatshirts, and hoodies, and you haven't really been selling mugs, you already have designs that work really well on mugs. And here's just an example. If, I, if you search for cat mug on Etsy's website, you're going to get 105,000 search results right now. Um, but just scroll through some of these results and see how, like what the range is really. Now look at the variations here for cat mugs. We've got all of these different designs. Some of them are purely text-based. Some of them are purely graphic based. Some of them are a combination of text and graphic. But one thing that you should notice, look at designs like this one. It's too peopley outside, right? Funny looking cat funny saying that looks like a design that would be like right at home on a t-shirt, right? So if you created a design like that to sell on a t-shirt, take this same design, same print file even, and slap it on a mug, put it on both sides of a mug. And there you go. Now you've got a complimentary product that features a design you didn't have to, to go and, and remake or make a new design. And it, it will sell on a mug. The, the, you have you already have designs, I guarantee it. If you're already selling print on demand, you have designs that will work well on mugs. All right, so here we are inside the designer view on Printify. All I did was I copied a, a sample listing, a draft that I already had in my store to use this to show you this design. So I had created a personalized mug in a video that I did recently about how to sell personalized items. I just copied that listing because it's a white 11 ounce mug from District Photo. And now we're gonna use that same uh, draft to show you how you can just throw a design onto a mug that you already have. So here is one of the graphics I actually used for one of the samples we looked at earlier. It's the sloth one that says, nope, not today. This is a t-shirt PNG file. It's 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. It's made uh, to go on a t-shirt. It's the right size for that, but that doesn't matter because it's basically it's too big compared to what we need for the mug, but we can size it down and it does that for you. As soon as I added this from my library, you know, it fit it to the size of the canvas. And now all I have to do is resize it to the print area. And for mugs, these dotted lines are really what you need to pay attention to because that is your, inside the first set of dotted lines is the safe area. That is where your print will definitely be. 
outside the first set of dotted lines, this rectangle here, all the way to the second dotted line or the solid line, that is the bleed area. And that's where your print will most likely be if you have a design out there, but there's no guarantee. It could get cut off depending on exactly how centered you know that, that print wrap is on the mug. So you want anything that has to do with your design that you like really, really need in there to be within that first little area of the, uh, the safe area. And then you have vertical lines here to help you center it on either side of the mug. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm, I'm actually making this bigger because the graphic was kind of small in the, in the center here. So I made it bigger and now I'm gonna try and do my best to center it on either side of the mug. It's okay if your center line goes past in, in either the left or the right direction, goes past the vertical line here. And you'll see why in a second when you look at the preview. So first, I'm just gonna check my preview view and see if that looks good. It looks to me like maybe it's a little bit too far away from the handle, like it won't look nice and centered on there. So I'm gonna go back and nudge it over a little bit further just until I get to the edge of that, that uh, safe area line. And so we're gonna click on copy and it gives me the exact same size, but all I have to do is check the placement. So let me go back to the original. Let me select the original and it is minus 25.31 from the top. So I have to line it up to the right edge, like I lined up the other one to the left edge, and now I'm gonna put the top measurement. I go back to preview, I double check that the other side looks good, um, but we'll go ahead and click save product, which is probably behind me on the screen. And now the great thing is, mockups for mugs are less complicated. Generally, I do go and add at least one, maybe two, slightly more realistic looking mockups. I use place it for my mockups, and they have some nice mug mockups. Um, but I don't have to go in and create, you know, like four or five different mockups um, and then delete the ones that Printify sent over because these are good representations of the final product. I'm, I probably would delete the Halloween one if it's, if it's not a Halloween themed mug. I'm not spending as much time on mockups as I am with a apparel item. So there's another benefit. I All right. So that's it for this video. Thank you to Printify for the sample mugs that we took a look at earlier. And I hope that if you're selling print on demand in your Etsy shop and you haven't been selling mugs, I hope that this information was enough to convince you that there is a big business opportunity when it comes to selling print on demand mugs. So I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if there's anything about selling mugs that you have questions about or if this uh, video was helpful for you. And if you don't mind, take a second, give me a like and uh, subscribe on the video because it helps the YouTube algorithm recognize uh, that this information is helpful and get it out in front of more people. I would really appreciate that. Thanks everybody, and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to check out podinsights.net for information about our podcast and posts with lots of different resources for print-on-demand selling. Thanks everybody, see you next time.